Welcome back to another episode of Big Sticks, guys. Today we'll be making a whole air fried chicken in the Power XL air fryer. Let's get into this. All right, jumping right on in here, we're gonna add about a third cup of olive oil to our mixing bowl. Next, we're gonna put a whole head of finely minced garlic. Our next seasoning is gonna be Lowry's Casero Total Seasoning. Not sure if you've ever tried this stuff, folks, but man, it is good. We're gonna go with about two tablespoons of that, and we'll just whisk it into our oil and garlic mixture. Now that we're all done mixing it up, it's time to start playing with our chicken. So first things first, you know, I put on some gloves and we're gonna, we're gonna check to make sure that the cavity is empty and that there's no, no giblets left in there. And next we're simply gonna start doing some trimming. We're gonna take away some of the excess fat and skin that's unnecessary for this cook. It's time to start working our fingers underneath the skin of this chicken. Uh, you don't have to be real gentle with it, but you want to be careful that you don't tear the skin. It works away relatively easy, so it's not a hard thing to do. It's just a nice simple step that you can do to make sure that you thoroughly season the chicken. Because if you simply just season the skin, that's where all the seasoning is going to be. I actually want this seasoning mix to get deep down into the meat. That way you have a thoroughly seasoned chicken. So here we go, we're gonna start applying the rub. We'll stick it underneath the skin, shoving it as far back and rubbing it in as best we can. So be sure to season your chicken really good. Get it in there, all the nooks and crannies that you can. Don't forget to slide it in over around the drumstick and by the thigh. You want this chicken to be well seasoned once it's cooked. And don't use it all because we're gonna have to rub this chicken down once it's all said and done. We're gonna get the exterior skin. We'll do the back, we'll do the wings. We will get it all. That way after it's all said and done, you're gonna have a well seasoned bird that is gonna shine after it's done cooking. Oh yeah, and while we're at it, might as well get all up in that cavity too, right? It can't hurt. Now let's get this thing covered up, throw it in the fridge for at least an hour. After the bird is done hanging out for an hour in the fridge, preheat that air fryer to 335. Now that our fryer has reached the appropriate temperature, let's take out the pan and we'll give it a spray with some oil. And you wanna make sure that you put the chicken breast side down for the next 35 minutes. This is gonna help with cooking the thighs thoroughly. Well, through the magic of YouTube time, that first 35 minutes is over. Let's take it out and take a look. As you can see, that backside of that bird is incredibly golden brown. Did you hear that crunch, people? We need to do the same thing to this side. Let's see what we got. Oh, man. That is a thing of beauty. That's very crispy skin, but I don't pretend that it's gonna stay that way as I let this thing rest. Just drain off some of this fat right quick. I'll set it here. Well, what appears to be in here is a great deal of rendered chicken fat. And I'm going to pour some of this out over some potatoes here. So what I've done with these potatoes is I cooked them in the microwave on the baked potato setting and then I cut them into wedges. 
So now that they're covered in the chicken renderings, I'm going to attempt to crisp them up in the air fryer. So I'm going to leave this on 335 still. We'll see what six minutes gets us. All right. So this chicken is very crispy. Just gonna cut along this thigh here. And break it open just to give you an idea. So as you can see, it's very moist. There's no blood. This is well cooked. Cutting right through the joint here. Once again, cooked to the core. Very juicy. Leg and thigh there. Let's come right down the keel bone here. We'll just, we'll fillet off the, uh, the breast here. Whew. Man, even after 10 minutes of resting, this thing is piping hot. All right. Move this over here because this might get messy. All right, peeps. As you can see, it's cooked. Super moist. Very wet. Let's give this a couple slices at the breast. As you can see, still very wet, very moist, pulls apart nicely. Mm. Wow. You can really, really taste that garlic punching right through. I mean, it is like really deep in the meat. That's really good. It's like uh, very reminiscent of uh, like a Korean style garlic chicken. Mm. Folks, here's some potato wedges that I just cooked. Took about 12 minutes at 335 to get them nice and crunchy. Wow. Those taste fantastic too. Might have a little something to do with that chicken fat. Mm. Stop eating the skin and eat some of the inside. So <laughs> I want a French fry. That's so hot, Jonah. Hold on. Here. Ah! Here, Rosalie. Let me cut you off some meat. Here, you want some chicken? Tell me what you think. Best chicken ever. Best chicken ever? <laughs> Have I tasted this before? Not this I one, like no. I like the sauce. Here. I like the sauce. You mean you like the chicken juice? Here, try the chicken. I'm going to try chicken. Here, try the chicken. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. This chicken turned out fantastic, folks. Give this one a try. That's going to do it for me today. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And until next time, folks, from my kitchen to yours, Big, big Sticks, sticks out. out. Jesus, I, <laughs> Look, I like it. <laughs> I like it. 
obviously you like it.